Good morning, Texans. This is Alan Spare with This Day in Texas History for November 19th, 1835. Uh, Colonel Ugarteca to Colonel Jose Juan Sanchez. He's asking for supplies for Casas forces in Bejar. That's going to be a big problem later on. A Mexican schooner pursues the Hannah Elizabeth from New Orleans and is driven onto the shore at Paso Cavallo. The William Robbins, captained by William Hurd, will engage the Mexican uh, schooner and recapture the U.S. ship. The William Robbins is considered to be the second ship fitted out by Texas for the war, the first being the San Felipe. The Georgian reprints an article in the Macon Mes Messenger saying, quote, Let all who are disposed to respond to the cry in any form assemble in the courthouse on Tuesday evening next at early candlelight. So Georgia is rallying troops for the Texas cause. Uh, They've already sent some, uh, some people at this time. And uh, last for the day is a letter from Cumberland County Committee of Correspondence of Pennsylvania to Stephen F. Austin. And, quote, The county supports the cause of independence and are willing to send a brigade of able-bodied men to march to Texas if Austin and the Texas military leadership can find a way to address the cost of the journey and the inexperience of the volunteer brigade. Cost is a big problem at this time if... Um, you know your Texas history. These guys aren't the Texas Army's not getting paid right now, so it's going to be a big problem coming up very quickly, and it's going to be one of the reasons for the uh, the, the grass fight. Uh, they had been paid, and they decided, hey, let's go take their uh, their shipment of gold that they believe was coming. All right, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This is Alan Spade with this day in Texas history for November nineteenth, eighteen thirty-five. I will see you tomorrow.